I'm Ivan. I'm Jeff. And clean air is more important now than ever. With today's climate and the pandemic, people are looking at air filters differently now. And that's actually why we decided to change what you traditionally understand as the air filtration device. And we're introducing CleanTech, which is a air sanitizer. So we know that there's three popular ways to clean the air right now on the market. This is commonly known as a HEPA filter, which also has an air ionizer. And this is CleanTech, a UV light air sanitizer, often known as UV germicidal light. Now, with these HEPA filters, the way it works is basically a fan with a filter. And what that fan does is that it filters the air as quickly as possible and passes the air commonly through this. Now you can see that this has been running in the house for a couple months and it's collected a lot of dirt, dust, pollen, smoke, and other particles that are in the air. The problem with collecting and trapping is that it doesn't actually kill it. It doesn't inactivate. So right now you can still see the dust on the matter, but the problem is if there still could be germs or viruses sitting in that dust. And when you go to clean it, it's going to come back out into the air. And there's another technology called air ionizers or air ionization. And the way that it works is... So air ionization is basically charging the particles in the air. It could be the air filtration device itself. If you're familiar with like the Dyson models and you have to dust off the center where the dust collects, it doesn't go away until you vacuum it up. And again, when you're vacuuming it up, it just goes right back into the air again. And that's why we're excited to bring to you clean tech. Now, UV light undeniably has been used in thousands of hospitals and for many years. Now, why? UV light is a very effective way of deactivating germs and viruses. It's been used in airports, hospitals, public spaces for many, many years around the world. UV light is a very specific part of the light spectrum that actually is normally blocked out by the ozone layer. It is so effective at deactivating and killing living organisms. But at the same time, it's very dangerous to be near. It can actually give you a sunburn in a matter of seconds. So the problem is that these massive commercial grade medical UV light devices cost $30,000 plus, and it's not practical to be able to bring that technology into your home. And the other issue is that these HEPA filtration units are trying to use a very small bulb often integrated into this unit that is ineffective at being able to expose UV light to the germs for as long as possible. And that's the reason why we developed Clean Tech. Basically takes medical grade commercial UV light sanitization and it brings it into an ultra small form factor that's perfect for your home and for your business. Now we're gonna talk about UV light, knowing that it does work and the four most important things you need to know about UV light. The first would be something called dwell time. What is dwell time? Dwell time is exposing the air to the UV light for as long as possible. Now in a HEPA filtration unit, the goal is to circulate air as quickly as possible. We do things differently in a UV light or UV germicidal light with CleanTech. There are some units out there today on the market that have, you know, they, they talk about using UVC light. If you have a tiny bulb, it's actually only going to be exposed to the UV light for only a matter of microseconds as the air passes through. So you can see here, this is our UVC germicidal bulb. It's actually a twin cathode. It's massive. It's literally 75% of the unit. So putting a UV light into a high volume HEPA filtration unit is actually ineffective at slowing down the air so that it is exposed to the light for as long as possible. And that's why UV lights don't work in HEPA filtrations because they're two different goals of quick airflow exchange and slowing down the air itself. So CleanTech is actually engineered and designed so that the air can be quickly sucked up through the unit, but the chamber itself is actually large so that it will slow down the air as it goes inside the chamber. The airflow is key 
because increasing the dwell time, if you use a traditional air filter where it's just pumping out the maximum speed of air and you just have it pass through you know, a tiny teeny bulb, you're only gonna get exposure for a very, very short amount of time. With Cleantech, this bulb, 75% of the height of the unit, it actually sits inside a chamber that's the entire width of the unit. It's actually smaller than the air coming in. And this is designed because as it's entering this chamber, the air will slow down. As the air is slowing down, as it's passing through it, you can see there's a lot more time that it could spend receiving the UVC dose. Now, Cleantech is third-party laboratory tested. Now, what these laboratory testing does is basically create a table called the log kill rate. And the longer that the germs are exposed to the air, the more effective it is at essentially killing the viruses. And the second most important thing you wanna consider when looking at UV light sanitizers is intensity. The intensity of the UV light bulb itself. Now, let's do a size comparison here of what the Cleantech bulb is compared to these HEPA filtration units that have a bulb that is very small compared to this. It's a dual cathode bulb and it is much stronger and provides a higher intensity of light compared to these existing units. Now what's being popular in the news right now is also these UV light sanitizing wands that use LED bulbs and those LED bulbs when tested against a dual cathode bulb of this size do not offer the same dosage and intensity, which can be measured with uh, equipment. Uh, a very basic one would be a, a UV dosage card. Other ways of testing that people have done would be using a banana and exposing it to UV light. And what we've done is actually provide a lumen intensity of how strong this UV light bulb is. So not only is this bulb longer and bigger, so there's more time exposed to it, but this bulb is extremely powerful. The output of this bulb in this configuration is exponentially more than a traditional LED UVC light. So if you're familiar with the wands, you know, those are just small LEDs that output the right wavelength, but a very small amount. In many cases, you know, the active range is just inches to feet. This one is much, much stronger. So the third thing to consider when choosing a UV light air sanitizer is filtering the particles so that the UV light can effectively kill the germs. So when you think about air, a lot of times that these air particles can attach and if they aren't properly filtered, they will not, the UV light will not be able to clean the unit. And it's very popular out there to just have UV light it's very common, and you can actually see this on the market, where there's these devices that literally look like a bulb and a cage around it, and that's it. Although it is using UVC light, the problem is you're not controlling the particles between the germs and the virus and the light. So for example, if you have a dusty room and the light has trouble passing through that dusty room, it's because the particles in the air are actually blocking the light from getting past it. The same thing is actually happening to a lot of these devices where it's just UVC exposed in the center of the room. That air is actually blocking a lot of that light from hitting those viruses and germs. You're using the power of the UVC spectrum to kill those viruses. You have to make sure that its particles and airs are not blocking the light. And that's why we created Cleantech. And we also created this HEPA pre-filter that'll clean the air before it's being exposed to the bulb to maximize the efficiency of the UV light cleaning power. Now these filters are extremely easy to change. It's a magnetic base that can be pulled off and these filters can be washed out, can be purchased in large packs, and we recommend changing them out every six months. And the fourth thing to consider with a UV light air sanitizer is what kind of germs, viruses, and bacteria are you trying to kill? It's recommended that you purchase a unit that is third-party laboratory tested, and they can actually provide the results of how effective your UV light air sanitizer is across a broad spectrum of different viruses and bacteria that are commonly known on the market. So the last point is really, what are you trying to sanitize? 
based on a lot of the news today, what is really concerning is actually airborne particles. These micro droplets are actually floating in the air and they're so small that they may or may not drop to the ground level. They're floating in the air. If someone coughs, it projects that out into air and it's actually lingering. And that's actually the germ and virus that we're targeting specifically with clean tech. This model cycles air. We're actually actively pursuing the particles, germs, viruses that are floating in the air. And how do we do it? Basically, it creates a cycle in the room. So it sucks in air from the bottom, dirty air in, clean air out the top. So it basically creates a cycle where it will effectively take all the air in a room, cycle it through this unit, sanitize it, and that's how you're able to get clean air in your home or in your workspace. We know that human to human transmission is actually the main cause of some of these viruses and bacteria. What makes clean tech unique is that it can be run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and in a typical room, and as Ivan mentioned, when somebody coughs or sneezes, that air particle can actually spread as far as 30 feet. And clean tech is something revolutionary that's gonna be able to be put in our homes, in our businesses, in our offices, and different public spaces that we would traditionally visit. What is currently being used by hospitals and airports today are these UVC robots, and they'll travel around, you know, they'll go room to room, sterilize the room, but the biggest problem is you can't be there when it's being sterilized. The problem is actually because when people are coughing, they're projecting a lot of those germs in those micro air droplets into the air. If you're sanitizing the air when nobody is there, that's actually the big problem. It's when you're there that these germs get pushed into the air. And that's actually why we completely rethought how air filtration works. And we've developed clean tech, fundamentally turning how people understand air filtration upside down, using the HEPA filtration as a pre-filter with the primary sanitization as the UVC lamp. Clean the air you breathe. We hope you support us. Clean tech is a revolutionary way that's gonna get us back to life, get us back to doing things that we love. Help support clean tech, where we're trying to revolutionize how we're gonna clean the air around us so we can get back to work. Let's do the things we love. You know, life is really about experiencing things with other people. And it isn't until there's a safe, reliable, and trusted way to clean the air while we're in the room that things can actually come back to normal. Thank you.